Jeg håber, at de, børnene kan forstå, at de, hele verden er andre. Alt er andre siden da. For mange år siden, der har altid øh, om sommeren, der er is hele tiden. Altså, øh, nu, nu forsvinder det meget hurtigt. Og This remote village in eastern Greenland is 500 kilometers from the nearest human settlement. At the mouth of the largest fjord system on the planet, cargo ships visit only once a year with supplies for its 300 residents. Locals therefore live deeply intertwined with the natural world, relying on meat provided by Inuit hunters to survive the months-long polar night. But as rising temperatures weaken the ice and reduce winter snowfall, hunting is getting harder and harder. Glaciers, which locals rely on for drinking water, are also slowly melting away. Making water is uh, maybe a problem in the future uh, because of lake where we get the water from for the whole city. In the f uh, back in the fields, it's laying around uh, beyond the water glacier, but it's uh, melting. So maybe in a few years, it's uh, gone. It can, uh, been a problem. Greenland's ice sheets may hold one twelfth of the world's fresh water, enough to raise the sea level up seven meters if they were to completely melt. Scientists are rushing to the area to understand the situation before it's too late. You hear about the global warming, but here you see it. That, that's the main point. So people who are living here every day who come often like us, we see the glacier, we, we can see from a mission to another what is the impact of the global warming. Here it's really the laboratory of the climate change. The scientists are protected from polar bears by an armed escort, but it's not their prints they're here to investigate. What they're looking for is much smaller, a microscopic algae known as glacier blood. It was only formally identified for the first time in 2019, but is already having an unprecedented effect on the ice. Les algues colorent la neige et la glace et euh, on estime que de l'ordre de 12% de la fonte annuelle des glaciers euh, est, est due à la présence d'algues, ce qui est colossal. The remoteness and extreme conditions of the Scoresby Fjord means it's one of the least studied locations on the planet. Ah, moi, grosso modo, euh, de, 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 du 10 août au 10 septembre, euh, voilà, plus ou moins, euh, suivant les saisons. Et après, ça, les, les glaces referment l'entrée et l'accès au fjord. Du coup, euh, pour venir en bateau, ouais, c'est une petite fenêtre d'un mois sur l'année. They're not the only ones arriving. Around 60 vessels came this summer to the region, carrying tourists curious to get an insight into the local way of life. I've always wanted to come to the Arctic and Greenland, um, something remote. It's something that for me is once in a lifetime experience. Some view tourism as a way of bringing funds to the area, but others are concerned that it could destroy what the travelers came here to see, one of the last surviving Inuit hunting communities. One week ago, there was hunters uh, out there. They trying to count uh, nowadays, but uh, there was a uh, couple of uh, ships go going, uh, going in into them. People from the world have a uh, need to show some respect for the hunters. And it's okay when they come to Tokotomi, visiting Tokotomi. That's not a problem with me. But the problem with uh, when hunting place, when they come and make a machine loud, uh, making loud, that, that's not okay for hunters. And it's not just the increase in marine traffic that is worrying the community. Temperatures in the region are increasing up to four times faster than the global average, posing a direct threat to the Inuit way of life. <laughs>